For me, staying motivated and disciplined in the hardest years of any person's life, which is those teenage years, it always came down to what do I truly love to do. I remember there were multiple times when I wanted to quit, when I told my coaches that, and with my parents and my coaches, every time I wanted to quit gymnastics, they would be so supportive of it, it would shock me. And it was kind of this reverse psychology. I'd be like, wait, you're okay with me quitting? And it would put the role back on me to say, is this actually what I want to do? I remember a very specific time. I was actually, I think, 14 years old. I had just been assigned to another international competition by USA Gymnastics. I was supposed to fly to Canada, wear the red, white, and blue, do all of this, but it happened to fall on the homecoming week at high school, so I would have missed a dance and a football game. And I remember it was the day before I was supposed to leave for Canada. I sat down on the stairs. I was bawling hysterically at my house. My mom said, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to quit. And she was kind of in a, a little bit of a panic because we had just finished packing, but she's like, okay, let's work through this. She said, let's quit. Let's call Marta, let's call your coach, let's call everyone and say, we're done. And let's go pick out like a, a homecoming dress, let's go to homecoming. And I remember thinking to myself like, wait, if this happens, like there's no turning back. I ultimately ended up deciding going to Canada. I talked to my coach, I talked to uh, I think my teachers even, and it worked out that I could still make the football game but not the dance and still go to the competition and compete.